Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope all is blessed on this beautiful Wednesday. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of house cleaning. Make sure I could, yeah, wanted to make sure I could be heard on my, my own device uh, before going. What's going on, Mama Life? Hope all is blessed with you and everybody out there. And I wanted to come on today to give a little uh, encouragement because with some of my mentees and some of the people that I just talked to, they have been telling me the same thing. And it's nothing new. Um, we've all you know, felt it or heard it, especially if you are an entrepreneur, especially if you are a creative um, Shed a little light on the, the scene right here, so I'm not all in the dark. But um, people looking for support, and there is a lack of, you know, people supporting you in what you're doing, and a lot of folks get discouraged. It makes a lot of people quit, or, you know, and, and many people want to quit and say, hey, no one's supporting me. And when this thing blows up and I become a, you know, multimillionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, then my friends, family, and everyone who knew me from when I was little and everyone who changed my diaper is going to be talking about me and going to say, hey, I want to be a part of this. And if you don't know how to deal with that, that's why I wanted to put this message on because I had a guest that I was about to interview and they had real life strike them. And when I mean real life, you know, when your kids get sick, when you uh, have a death in the family, you know, that's real life. What we're doing right here, this is just, this is the fun stuff right here. What's going on, expat art and Sir Ty, how are y'all doing? Hope all is blessed. But, you know, real life and getting into what, what I was talking about is people aren't going to support you. The people you think that could support you, who might have to you all the money, you know, available to give to you to say, hey, make your dream come true. Those people that you know probably aren't going to support you. And part of that might be you're, they're too close to the situation. Part of it is maybe you haven't shared clearly what your vision is. When I go do something new, like I want to become a sports agent. Um, yo, I wasn't looking for support from people necessarily who knew me. What I know is I represent people in excellence and I treat their money like my money. And I try to be as fair as possible, even though we have a high premium, I'm told, by, by some. And those usually are people who can't afford the price. But my whole thing is to keep people legal. People peak people progressing, whether that's mentally, spiritually, um, financially, if I can be, because I tell people I am not a genie in a bottle. You got to go to Christine Aguilera and ask her, you know, about that. What I am is a person who works hard, who has tasks, who sees that, OK, I can help you. You've probably asked for the help or we've talked about, you know, something and let's go make it happen. That's who I am. And with that, I'm saying, hey, this is the price so I can focus on that. Not because I so I can go buy, you know, the the Rolls Royce and the Aston Martin, but so that I can be able to provide for others and pay for others needs and and do your stuff and pay for my own. If I'm being honest. Right. But people aren't going to support you even when you go live. I know so many great people with shows that I think that they should be supported even by their local government. Hence, Kitty London. Shout out to her. I think, you know, what she does and how she does it. it I'm like, why are more people not supporting? So let's not get caught up on that. Let me support in whichever way that I can and feel will be the best fit, right? But she's winning, and she ain't begging for no from nobody. And that's how I feel like with Diversified Game. I do Diversified Game to show you guys stories of other winners and try to ask questions that no one else has asked them and that most journalists nowadays aren't going to ask them because all people want to hear about are the millions and the billions. 
all people want to hear about is the luxury. So they feel like once they get the luxury, once they get the watch, you know, like Grant Cardone, once they get this, that, the third, that they've made it. And you've only made money. You haven't made it. You're really, you're really at a place to lose it all if your mind isn't right. And so when you want this support from family and friends, I'll tell you, family and friends, I've written many books. I've written books on my own. I've helped write books for others, published books for others, movies. Friends and family, they don't support those things. They don't come back and say, hey, that was a great film, or hey, I saw what you did in Africa. Man, how do, can I get on? Just show me how I can get on. Nah, they don't, they don't do that. And you know what? After doing this for, you know, two decades plus, I don't expect it. At one point, I was like, wait, man, are, are people going to even support? You know, I used to write for the magazines. People would read them, you know, they'd look at them. Hey, you know, it's a free magazine because um, it's coming from me. But I, I didn't expect them to buy it in the store even when I was selling the magazines for a dollar or two, right? And they were beautifully done, you know, especially Explosive Magazine, beautifully done. Groove Line, you know, uh, beautifully done. You know, once they got to the magazine format, you know, um, that, that newspaper format, that was the old school, then new wineskin. But I appreciate those people like Ron Hood, who gave me a chance. He supported me, so I'm happy. Eric Robinson, when I came on, and I'm even working for the competition, he supported me. You know, um, when other people uh, say, hey, Kellen, will you do a show? Uh, for us. I take that as support, that my opinion, you value my opinion. I have people tell me all the time, hey man, you're, you're real sharp on that. We weren't ready. We weren't on that ball. We didn't know about crypto. We didn't know about Forex. We didn't know about that. I know you told me something about it, but we didn't know about it. And I'm no expert in any of those things. I am just highly nosy, inquisitive. I, I want to know how to break the game and then put it back together, doing it my way, in the words of Frank Sinatra, in the words of Sammy Davis Jr., I just got to be me. I just got to, I'm just like that. I want to get in and get this license, see how we can break the game, find out how we can get some residual income, and then we might move on to the next game. You know, I might want to have a story to tell, like many soldiers have told me and sailors and, you know, all type of folks who served in the military. They really joined the military because they wanted to, when they said, will all the veterans stand up? They wanted to stand up. That's the only reason why you joined the military? Okay, hey, to each his own. Got the local con su tema. To each his own theme. Pero... I do this because it's just in me to do. And whether people support me or not, you know, I've had um, family, cousins, Bon Bon, shout out to you. They say, man, you were in a tough spot. Why didn't you tell me? I could have gave a couple of dollars. I'm like, because everybody has a problem. Everybody has an issue. You might not know it because they don't highlight it on Instagram when they're going through a legal case. You, they don't highlight it on um, social media when they're, you know, always battling sickness until they get on their deathbed and need something. Or if their child needs something or, or school fees. And a lot of people aren't going to beg. You know, I have friends who I've had that like, man, let's do a GoFundMe for, for you. You know, your problem is bigger than anything, you know. And I'm not going to tell people's personal situations, but there were in... You know, some places they were charging two thousand dollars a day for ventilators, and it's like two thousand dollars a day. Wow, it's a lot of money. You know, that's a lot of money for anyone, um, especially overseas, where the insurance isn't like we have it here, or the laws aren't where we have it here, where they kind of you know pretty much have to take care of you. Give or take, depending on who you are, what city and all that, because I know somebody will say, oh, no, man, the hospitals here are vicious. They let, you know, my relative um, die. I get it. But we have to ask ourselves, what are we doing to to be supported? 
What are we doing to support others and to make sure if this was the last season, the last day in our life, what we could do that might cost us nil, zero, zip? Who have you brought on your platform and say, you know what? This is kind of different. This is kind of new. Let me let me highlight you on, on my platform because people need to hear this. Whoever gets it, gets it. Forget the ratings. Forget all that. They need to hear this. Who have who who have you supported? Right. Who have you brought to dinner lately and knowing that they didn't have a good meal in a long time or sent them a pizza even, you know, sent them some suya. Some Aru, <laughs> some, um, some dim sum, you know, just send it to them. You know, who have you, who have you done that to? Who have you brought a meal to? Who have you supported? And sometimes that's why you're not being supported. Sometimes you want everyone else to listen to your problems. When others have a problem, you circle it back to your problem and, and wave over theirs. So sometimes that's why you don't have any friends because you're not a good friend. Who have you given a bonus to or a tip to, whether it be somebody who works for you constantly or the pizza guy, you know, the Chinese food guy, the delivery guy? Who have you hooked up? And if you can't think of those things, and you don't have to say those publicly, but if you haven't thought about who you support it, how do you expect or even demand sometimes people support you? You know, people that I support, I already see them working hard. Or I, I, I went out on, uh, the, the spirit told me, you know, try this out. See what they do with the money. And when they do something with the money and they can hold on to the money, they don't squander the money, they don't mysteriously lose the money, then I want to support them even more and say, man, let's get it. Let's get busy. Let's go make a whole new business. I didn't even want to be in this business. But certain people are bringing me in this business, even though it might have been a very, you know, like music, let's say. Shout out to Rich Boy, you know. Rich Boy and I, we've been rocking since the Grambling days. That's like my brother. We've sat, I can't tell you how many days and nights in the same walls just working so we could do Too Hot Radio dot com, Too Hot Magazine, Too Hot TV just to find out how expensive it was to do TV and, 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 you know, and then let's go travel. Okay, I'm a travel rich, you handle the business here. And, and rich, you know, I tell people half my ideas, if not more, rich has either come up with them or supported them from ground zero. It's hard to find someone like that. It's hard to find someone like that. I can count the people that I tell ideas to and they say, wow, that's a good idea. And I'll tell you, even your spouse ain't going to think everything's a good idea. I know my wife used to think that my ideas were crazy. Now she just thinks sometimes they're half crazy. But she has to now understand how my process works where I just got to do it like I see it. And then she tells me the kinks and tells me, OK, but have you thought about this? And that's what you're supposed to get. See, a lot of y'all, too, want submissive women who just, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't need a cheerleader, man. I need somebody to tell me what I'm doing wrong. And that's how what's progressed me. It's made me a lot of profit, too. Huh. You know, and then picking right. If you pick a, a, a liability, you get what a liability comes with. A lot of you uh, guys have pretty idiots on your arm. You have a pretty beautiful idiot who can't help you in business. And then I could tell a real story. And then you like all this woman wanted to do be his wife and a mother. But she has no business sense. Without me, she's going to squander this money. All this I'm working hard for some young, st you know, guy stallions going to come in there once you're gone and done. And he's going to take it over. Right. But that's none of your business. But who have you supported? How do you pick people? A lot of y'all are looking at possessions and want to be entertained so much where you don't even want to learn. You don't even leave room for learning. You don't leave room for learning. You don't read anything. You watch everything and think you're an expert in it. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. 
I'm just telling you, change your ways. How you pick your friends? You picking somebody a friend because of the car they have? They they got got that on Turo. They could be a million dollars in debt, and you're you're happy about ooh the house they have, the possessions they have, the things they do. What about the person they are? What about what they're putting in their mouth? Do they look like they're trying to live for a long time? Are they so obese and you just rolling around with this obese person not saying anything? Now, everyone's going to be at a different, you know, status. I, I'm nowhere to being skinny at all, you know, yet. And I don't know if I want to be flacco, but I would just want to be healthy. And I understand that even fat people have, um, they're more happy. And sometimes people can say they could live longer, right? Or live happier, however you measure that. But you can support your friend and your loved ones and say, hey, I'm going to cook something healthy and show you what I do, you know, if you're doing the right thing. If you're not doing the right thing, try to get on it. Check out the Minister of Wellness, right? You try to get on that, that fitness. You don't have to be perfect overnight. We know food is a drug. And I've been a drug counselor. You can't kick no drug overnight like that, you know? I wish I could come on here and tell you and be like, I'll oh, just kick it like that. I can't do that because, you know, anybody who knows me knows them sweets had got me since a kid and I do my best ooh, to, to, to kick it. But it, it's difficult. Right. And I like to have goals to do it. But just ask yourself, you know, going back to the support, who are you supporting? Don't worry about who's supporting you. It's something about when you give God puts that same giving, and he makes sure you're taken care of one way or another. Things just start blossoming. I can't tell you how much money my certifications in government contracting have made me. I can't tell you that. Because if I go look at it on face value, I could say, I don't think they made me anything. But my certifications haven't closed any doors for me. So, you know, I just did something with the city of West Palm Beach. I can't tell you why they chose me, and I can't say it was all because of me. I put in the work, and, and that's all I can tell you. But a lot of folks aren't putting in the work. You're waiting for some guru and some, you know, uh, savior to do the work for you. You're waiting for someone to tell you what a high-value person is when you can talk to somebody for two minutes and see how caring, giving, and, and, and what they're doing for, for others and themselves. Because high value ain't a dollar figure. And six figures ain't high value. Straight up. Six figures isn't a lot of money. It's a lot of money if you're, you're making 30000 if you're making 40000 But if you don't know how to manage that, guess what? You're going to be broke in, in less than a year. With six figures. There's a lot of six-figure people heavily in debt. Credit cards, cars, houses, trying to keep up with the Joneses. I love to pay all my bills a year in advance. I love it. Because when this crisis come and things happen, guess what? Guess who ain't worried? You know, I'm worried for everyone else and how we can support everyone else. Even messages like this. You, you, you know, people, many people will turn off because they want to be entertained. They don't want to learn nothing. They think they got it together. And if you got it together, cool. But just look, in, look into your life and your surroundings and your friends and your bank account and your education and what you're reading and see if you really have it together. See if you really have joy, peace, and happiness. And knowing that happiness comes, like the preachers tell you, with happenings. So they come and go. But that joy is what you should shoot for. That joy is what you should shoot for because people on here are just looking for the quick fix and the happy times. And you're still broke. And you're still broken. And you wonder why nobody is supporting you. So that's how I'm going to wrap it up. And you replay it. And what's up to Conscious Kim and Dr. Chi? Hope you all are having a blessed day. I just had to share that game with you. Because I've had many mentees and clients and just people around me talking and complaining about that. And now nah, you got to look at it different. You got to flip it, man. You're a multimillionaire if you want to be. You're a multimillionaire if you put in the work. 
But again, the consistency and how you treat others and what you do and how you curve other people. So y'all be blessed. I'm out. You know where you can book a session. You know where you can get the courses. You know where you can get the investment in Africa if you want it. Links in the description, in the bio, wherever you're watching, cprfirm.com. I thank y'all. God bless.